Welcome Virgos. Virgos, Virgos, this is the Taurus season. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, Virgos, uh, you are in the second house. Taurus is the, you are in the second house energy and this is the energy of the Taurus. Okay. So Virgos, use the energy in these four weeks from the 20th of April until the 20th of May. Use this energy, Taurus or your sister signs. And uh, this is the season of the second house. The second house is all about your money and financial stability. So Virgos, be alert um, from April 20th to May 20th. What is going to be coming up for you? All right, Virgos. Um, every, the, the, the last week is going to be a good week, a week of uh, um, the... 11th until the 20th of May is going to be good for you. You are using the sword of truth. So I see a lot of you Virgos, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see a lot of you Virgos is standing um, your grounds in the last week. So we see the three of ones. What is the energy of the three of ones in the first week? I see a lot of you Virgos want to move forward, but there is some sort of a problem with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and some sort of a data and information. And I see you Virgos or it's as if you're waiting on some sort of a, um, information. A lot of you want to move forward and look for new grounds or better stability in your world but there is some sort of an issue with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person they're not showing up who this person is and I see this person is in reverse so you gotta recognize who this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person is they're in the reverse and you Virgos are not being protected from this person if this is a Gemini person you have a better luck with this person but if it is an Aquarian or Libra you seem to be having some sort of a problem. All right. So the three of ones is always about the sun in Aries. And there is no happiness at the workplace because the Aries seems to be creating a whole lot of issue. A lot of you just want to walk away and leave a situation and move forward. So no happiness. The sun is in Aries, but is in a reverse. And this is the reason why you decide to leave uh, a corporation institution or move forward looking for better ground. And this is going to be good. So what we see here that is happening and transpiring is that a lot of you Virgo women could be thinking, I can't deal with this Aries no longer. I am letting go of the situation. And a lot of you Virgo women are going to be recognizing and showing up in the week of April 20th till 26th that the Aries have created a huge theft. So, you ladies are staying put. You men are looking for a new um, a location. But you... You women, you are showing up at Aries. You are standing your grounds. And you women, you Virgo women, recognize that there has been no happiness and joy in a corporation institution. And a Aries has been creating a whole lot of problems. And you are now showing up that a Aries had created a huge um deceptive situation where Aries is in for some problems because they recognize what the Aries have done. So you Virgos, um, in the week of April 20th to the 26th, decided I'm not going down alone on the ship. I am going to be giving up this Aries because they are the one who have gotten me in the situation and I'm not going down on the ship alone. So I see what you Virgos are doing. You Virgos are basically saying, hey, listen, I had no idea who this people, the situation, whatever that was going on. This Aries had collaborated and asked me for this information or this whatever it is. And um, you Virgo women could be investigating a corporation institution and recognize that a Aries have created a huge theft. Now, when the energy of the rat comes out, this energy of the rat is about stress. But it's as if some of you men are stressed and you men are thinking, I'm looking for a new location. I want to relocate. I want to 
um, find something new and something better to do. But you ladies are showing up that Aries is the one that has been creating a whole lot of issue and a whole lot of stress for a whole lot of people on the work floor. And you're saying, you're saying, yes, this is it. Here is the problem that your corporation is going through. It's because of this Aries that has been creating a whole lot of stress and issues for other people. So men, this first week, you men are going to be moving and want to walk away from a situation you men no longer want to deal with a situation anymore and you men are going to be taking the higher road but you women are saying no 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 not because of you that i'm going to walk away from my job no i'm going to show him what is the problem and what is the situation that has been transpired so i see that this is what is going to be coming up in the first week the second week a lot of you are dealing um, with a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Now, this person is definitely recognizing that whole, a whole lot of money was stolen. Now, this week is from the 27th until the 3rd of May. And in the week of the 27th until the 3rd of May, someone is going to be recognizing that a lot of money was stolen, okay? A whole lot of money was stolen. And this Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person is going to be finding out the secrets. The secrets. So Gemini, you got to be aware if you Geminis um, are having problems with um, tax authority, they're going to be finding out your secret Geminis. Well, um, not Geminis. Could be a Geminis that you Virgos are finding out the Gemini secrets about a whole lot of money, okay? But um, if you're dealing with tax authority, what is going to be happening and transpiring is a lot of you um, are going to be recognizing. They're going to be finding out a whole lot of secrecy that you Virgos businessmen could have hold back a whole lot of secrecy on a whole lot of money. So Virgo businessmen, if you have any secrets about your financial status, I see that... Uh, um, they're going to be finding out about this uh, um, Virgo. So you got to be on top of your game because um, they're going to be recognizing that you Virgos have been holding back on a whole lot of money. And they're going to be finding out if you recognize this is someone who is investigating you Virgos. And this is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. It could be someone at a tax authority. So Virgo, be aware of this. And they're going to be recognizing that a whole lot of you were keeping back holding back some sort of a secrecy about money as we move to the third week the energy of the third week the energy of the third week we have may uh 4th until may 10th and a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a message okay so um we are having some sort of a message coming in uh and uh a whole lot of message so this is a week where to expect a whole lot of message coming in so this message could be a whole lot of business offer if a lot of you um had apply for a job or a whole lot of people are going to be wanting to collaborate um with you guys so this is going to be good because this is a whole lot of message and if you notice this message but it's a whole lot that is coming in it could be that some of you your email was blocked someone was accessing your email they're going to be releasing this and a lot of you are going to be recognizing that you never receive a whole lot of email messages okay so it is as if someone had rewrote some of your email and they're now finding it out and it's going to be releasing it and you're going to be opening your mail and a whole lot of message coming in and it's because someone else was accessing your email and they recognize it and release this person from your email okay so it's as if this person rewrote um, some sort of a message to their mail and people are now going to be recognizing for a lot of you if you're doing anything with communication selling any products um, this is going to be good it's going to be a wonderful week so it's May um, 4th until May 10th May 4th until May 10th okay it is going to be one of your best best week okay uh, the 
the second week could be good, but it, it could be that they're recognizing um, or you Virgos could be recognizing that an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra man had took a whole lot of money. So you Virgos could also recognize that the money was sent, but it's as if this man had a lot of secrets. So you Virgos could be recognizing that this man had a lot of secrets about the whole lot of money that he had. And... Uh, where did he get this money from and the secret about this money? So second week is going to be good if you guys were divorcing an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person and they're now recognizing, hey, but this person have a lot of money. Why they want, you know, this person to pay um, this money because they already have a whole lot of money. So you Virgos are going to be recognizing that an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra was keeping secrets about a whole lot of money. And that's in the second week. Sorry, I had to go back. Because they were alerting me at that. So um, it is um, it is going to be powerful. This 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 these weeks are going to be powerful. And um, you you Virgo businessman, you are dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Whoever this Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person is, so you are going to be recognizing that this person had a whole lot of money. But this smart person was um, keeping back some sort of a secret. Is this your business partner? Who is this person? This person has been keeping back a whole lot of secrets from you, Virgo. So you have to be aware of who this person is. Now, the nine of wands. What do we know of the energy of the nine of wands in the third week? The nine of one energy is the sun and moon. The sun and moon. And what do we know of this? Sun and moon, deceptiveness. Okay. So that was what I was saying about email. It's as if someone has, you know, copy your email. So your email was um, going to different places and they're going to be catching this. So sun and moon is something about some sort of a deceptive and some sort of a, it's as if your, your offer, your business, uh, it's as if someone else was sharing your business and you're going to be finding out because all of a sudden, all of this mail is coming in and you're recognizing, hey, but I don't know um, what was really seriously going on. How comes this mail and this sort of a thing? So I see that you're going to be recognizing this and this is going to be good because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you're going to be recognizing how... Um, you can protect yourself more. So a lot of opportunities, um, the week of May 4th until May 10th is going to be a week of opportunities, whole lot of opportunities, whole lot of business offer. So get ready for this Virgos. You need to get ready for this situation because you're about, it's going to be busy, busy. And when I say busy, it's going to be extremely, extremely busy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So um, if you're applying for a job or applying for anything, May 4th until May 11th is going to be doing it for you. Um, this is going to be a really, really positive timeline for you guys. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous. All right, so let's move to the last week, which is one of your most powerful, powerful weeks. This is actually a good season for you, Virgos. Um, because the season is alerting you of a lot of stuff. So the Ace of Swords is about um, uh, power. It's about mental clarity. It's about the creative mind. So if you're a creative person, um, the week of uh, May 11th until May 20th is going to be absolutely fantastic, Virgos. Your mental clarity is going to be clear. You're going to be sharp as a razor, sharp as a dice. You're going to be moving through this week just using your sword of truth and recognizing what has been happening and transpiring. You're going to be so alert and so aware of what is transpiring in your world that you are going to be showing up for yourself. So if you're a creative person, use the fourth week. Wow. So expect um, new love to come in. Um, and you Tauruses are also having this love in that week. So in the fourth week, the week of May 11th to 20, expect new love to come in. And when I say new love coming in, there is going to be new love coming in for you, Virgos. I see communication-wise, relationship is going to be balanced out. 
I see issues and problems that a lot of you Virgos were having. It's going to be done and away. Um, you are going to be protecting the loved ones around you. And you are also going to be open to regain new um, love in your world. So this is um, very, very positive. Ooh. Um, so whatever that was transpiring, you are going to be standing your grounds and ending any um, um, unsavorable situation between you and a loved one. So let's say that you were having a whole lot of issue with you and a loved one, or you recognize that, um, you know, your child have this relationship and this person was creating a whole lot of issues, um, you know, for your child, or you are recognizing that your child is in a relationship, but the relationship is not serving your child in the right and proper way. And, you know, whatever miscommunication between you and family members, Virgo, you are going to be resolving this. You're going to be standing your ground. You're going to be showing up for this family member and stand up for this family member. So um, it could be a mother. Some of you Virgos could be really telling your mom, you know, mom, this is how it is. And this is a situation. And this is the reason why you have been getting in so much problems. And this is the last time I'm helping you out of this problem. So whatever is going on, you Virgos are going to be really standing your ground and supporting your family, okay? And ending, using the sword of truth to end whatever um, bad communication against you and your family that is coming at you. You Virgos are going to be saying no more, you know, no more. Whatever you people, you know, think and however you may desire, you're not going to be treating my family member um, the way you ever treated them. So I see a lot of you Virgos is going to be recognizing, hey, I got to be there for my family members. And I'm going to be standing up using the sword of truth in order to protect my family member from this sort of a injustice situation that has transpired. Some of you Virgos, you could be ending a relationship or a relationship is going to be ending between you and your lover. This is not a marriage. It could be a relationship. It could be a side piece chick or it could be a long relationship that you were in with someone. And at the end of the day, um, Virgos, it is going to be ended. This relationship has um, created and work out um the flow um the you know whatever the ca the um the chaos between you and this person the karmatic situation between you and this person virgo is going to be ended because they're not going to be recognizing um that you know a lot of you virgos are going to be recognizing hey um this relationship is not serving me anymore uh whatever <laughs> the relationship was based on it is not serving you Virgos anymore and you're going to be deciding to make a difference by leaving this relationship because you recognize that this relationship has brought you only sadness than joy. So Virgos, whoever you are, you Virgos, and whatever that was playing out and transpiring in the world of relationships, when it comes up to you guys, you are going to be ending this because you recognize that this relationship costs you only sadness than happiness. And you are now recognizing that uh, um, you got to make some changes, okay? No one else can make the changes except you, Virgos. Um, and uh, this is the time for the changes to be made. Or else you, Virgos, are going to be ending up in uh, being in the wrong place at the right time and losing out on a lot in your life. So it's as if you Virgos had to work out some sort of a karma between you and someone else, and it is now over, and it is time for you Virgos to move on, okay? And it is not one of those easiest things, especially, but 
it has been a very karmatic relationship. So you Virgos have to recognize that. So Virgos, an end is going to be coming in. But, you know, you have to accept this ending in its time. I got to go. Remember, go choose your crystal. Whatever crystal that speaks to you, Virgo, is the crystal that is going to be helping you throughout this timeline. Go choose your crystal. I do love you. Please remember, uh, leave a message, thumbs up. Choose your crystal. Use the link below. As you use the link below, you can choose any crystal that... Um, um, your inner wish, intuition, or guidance pull you towards, and I will speak to you next month.